Barb Steinberg. I am a parent coach, a teen life coach for girls, and a speaker on teen girl issues. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a subject that came up in a workshop that I was giving not long ago. And the overall theme of the workshop was connecting with your daughter. And at the end of it, there was a mom in the room who posed a great question. And I could even sense before she even asked the question that she was really struggling and sad and disappointed at the state of her relationship with her daughter and really looking for answers that would work. So she shared with all of us in the room that um, she was looking for ways to talk with her daughter in order to get her daughter to engage because she was met with silence or one word answers or just, you know, her, her daughter's face in the phone and she only saw the top of her head half the time. So she was really looking for how can I get some of my daughter back essentially. And so I'm going to share with you my first answer because for some of you, this may work for her. It probably wasn't going to work. So I'll, I'll share it because I know that it does work with some girls. So the first thing I recommended was what about coming at it a little bit, just asking your questions in a different way to start the conversation with her. So what if when you see her after school or maybe you pick her up from school and you have time in the car together, or maybe you're driving her to an activity after school and again, you have time in the car together. What if you were to ask um, on a scale of one to 10, how was your day today? So that she may give you you know, a number, she may give you a six, an eight, whatever it is, that alone gives you information as to the state that she's in in this moment. It also can guide you in whether you're going to continue talking to her or whether you're going to let there be some silence and you're going to give her some space, some room to kind of decompress from her day. And you can, you know, so much of parenting is intuitive, right? So if she says six and you can feel that you might be able to ask another question, go for it. So it might be, wow, a six, what made it a six today? Or what would have made it an eight today? So that's one opener. Another might be, hey, tell me something good that happened today. There's an opener. Tell me something funny that happened today. That's a different question that she usually doesn't get. <clears throat> Some of us, I think, um, sometimes can interview for pain so we can ask questions like, oh, you know, I know you were having problems with your friend, Mary, what's going on? Is Mary still saying mean things to you? So maybe rather than leading with that, you can lead in these with these other questions that might open up a whole new conversation that you otherwise wouldn't have. have. So when I was throwing out these ideas to this mom, at the end, I said, so what do you think of all that? Does that help? And there was a pause. And so when there's a pause, I know that she's looking for more. And so I said, no, 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 tell me what you really think, because I'm here to help. I'm not just here to throw out one liners and throw out ideas that, you know, I think will work. I want to know if they're going to work in your house with your daughter. And she's like, I don't think those would work with her. I said, OK, great. Let's come up with a different idea. So I thought to myself and I thought, OK, what if you were transparent with her. Because like I said, before this mom even opened her mouth and asked her questions, her question, I could feel the sadness and disappointment in her. I could see that she was wanting a part of her daughter back. She was wanting to connect with her daughter again. And it's tricky when we've got, as we all know, with teenagers, their peers are incredibly important and they're supposed to be. If they weren't important, they would never leave the house and we would be cooking eggs until they were 50. We don't want that. So, or most of us don't. So she was, you could feel the sadness and she was really looking for answers. So I said, okay, what if you go at it a different way? What if you are very transparent with how you feel and what you're wanting? In other words, appeal to her heart. I coach teen girls every day, every week. And I get to see behind closed doors that they really do love you. They like you. They miss you too. They do want to connect with you. As they're growing into adulthood, as they're moving away and separating, they still love you and need you and want you. They don't show it <laughs> that well or that often, but it's there. I see it regularly. So 
in, in the, with the idea of her being transparent with her daughter, I recommended the idea. I threw out the idea and we checked to see if this might work. I said, what if you were to tell her something along the lines of, you know what? Now, let me, before I begin, you really want to time this well. You want to make sure that you're picking a moment where that, that window of opportunity feels right where she feels like she's in a pretty good mood, she's in a decent mood, she's eaten, she's rested, right? She's well-fed, well-slept. Um, so you wanna set your, yourself up for success here. So if you're feeling like, you know what, I think that she could handle this conversation right now, it feels like a good moment between us, then I would lead with that authenticity and that transparency and I would say something along the lines of, you know what, I really miss you. I love you. And not only do I love you, I really like you. And I miss that we used to have more times that we could talk and more times that I could hear about what's going on in your world because I'm really interested in you. I'm curious about what you're thinking and what you're feeling and what's important to you and who your friends are and what's going on in your world. And I really understand that you want privacy right now and you need privacy. And I wanna be really respectful of that because I wanted it too when I was your age. And I also want you to know that I, I miss you and I would love to have times that maybe you and I could talk a little bit and I could just listen and hear what's going on. What do you think about that? Is that something that we could do? So sit with that for a second. How does that feel? First of all, you're being very vulnerable. You're saying how you feel and what you want. And you're basically handing her the power because she kind of has it. She gets to choose whether she wants to let you in and share with you or not. And you're letting her know how important that sharing and that connection is. With no strings attached, there's no guilt in what I just said. There's no victimization on my end. In fact, I was being really respectful and understanding by saying, I get it that you want privacy and you don't wanna tell me everything and you don't need to tell me everything. And maybe you can even use humor here and be like, but I really want you to tell me everything. But you can be honest and say, I get it. You know, as you grow older, there are gonna be things that are private and personal to you. And I don't wanna pry and make you feel uncomfortable. I just want you to know that I miss you. And I'd love to be able to spend time with you more and hang out. So, like I said, you're appealing to her heart. And our sweet little teenagers know they don't have black dead hearts. They have big, big, warm, loving hearts because we've raised them, right? So they want it too. It might look different than how they offered it to you when they were younger, but they also want to connect with you. So what could that look like? What does that mean that you and I, we hang out once a month, once a week? Do we get out of the house? Do we go someplace neutral? Is it just me and you? Do we invite other people? What do you need? What do you want? Because I'm game for anything. So listen to how much mutual respect is in that, right? It's really mutually respectful and it's really kind and loving. And there's no pushing and there's no insisting and demanding. It's really just coming from a place of love and space. And she can really feel that, that you're not grasping and pulling her towards you. You're giving her an, off an offer, an invitation, and she can accept or not. And it's not just one time, you know, you might offer that invitation six months from now. If things have moved back in the other direction that you don't want it to. So I'm hoping that these words are words that you can play around with, right? These are my words and you can massage them into be, you know, what works for you in your language with your daughter. Um, but I hope that this has given you some ideas about how to approach your daughter in order to get some of that connection. Now this is just, you know, these are just a few, a couple ideas that you can take with you and practice and try and let me know if they work or if they don't, because I am in the business of helping. That's why I do what I do. I've also created an e-course or an e-workshop, a virtual workshop that you can purchase and watch in your PJs with your coffee at home on your couch with lots and lots of more ideas of how to connect with your daughter during this time that it can be sometimes difficult to connect with her. And that connection is vital. It's so important because it will lead to her mental, emotional health and well-being. 
She needs that connection with you to make sure that she is making positive, self-honoring choices in her life. And that foundation, that relationship with you really feeds that. So I hope that you will check out um, the course. It's called How to Connect with Your Daughter. It's on my website, barbsteinberg.com. It is there for you. Um, I hope that you have, I hope that this has helped. I hope that you'll use these ideas and check out the course. I'm here for you if you want more in terms of parent coaching. Just reach out to me, barbsteinberg.com. And um, good luck with connecting to your lovely, sweet, amazing daughters. Have a great day.